What would happen if you had max luck in Potato? Well, today we'll figure that out. That is actually a very good showcase for it. I am playing Lucky and right now I have the most luck you can have that still affects the shop. So the things that appear in the shop and we will probably see a lot of red items. To make this a little bit more interesting, I am forced to take every single item that we get out of crates. And yes, that includes some very weird combinations that are most likely going to kill me, but I just want to see what happens. So if you take a look at this number here, it's an incredibly high number, but 3,479% is the number that I calculated that you require for the highest odds of red items. Any higher luck amount won't have an effect on it. Now, one thing that is affected is the amount of crates that drop. Because of the way how it works, the more crates you get per wave, the lower the odds are of getting more crates. So yes, having infinite luck would actually have a benefit here, but we don't care about that. We care about the shop and getting the most red items. And I mean, I also care about this here. <laughs> it's quite ridiculous. The cake, that is an interesting one. The banner, okay. More enemies means more crates. Beautiful, beautiful, be Oh, that recycling doesn't help us. Energy bracelet, gambling token. And I will just go for HP right away since uh, our HP may be locked very, very soon after. So pretty much today we will just go absolutely bonkers with an amount of items that I don't think I've ever had even in the harvesting run where I ended up with 9.4k harvesting. Simply because of the... Oh, oh, oh careful there. Simply because of the amount of crates that we end up with. With. It does look like that the further you get into the game, the more crates you get. And around, I think it's wave 7 to wave 8, you will start seeing red items. They see they are limited, so for example in the shop they simply can't appear on wave 7. But once you reach that part in the game, uh, this, will, this will become quite crazy. You may also notice we have no purple ones yet, but this won't take all too long. And the reason for that is that right now purple items have a 0% chance of appearing. The next shop is the first one that can offer purple items at a 2% chance. But 2% multiplied with 35.6, uh, that, that is a lot. How many crates do you think we'll get here? <laughs> As I said, we don't need to increase our luck anymore. The further we get into the game, the more crates we will receive. I'm actually starting to be a little bit concerned that I will not kill the enemies. Like if I get a ton of gentle aliens here, if we get a ton of mice and things like this, I will just get overrun. I have to bump up the damage numbers a little bit. Though I can also just collect material, right? Yeah, I can go over here. Where are the- oh my god, we deal 500 damage right now when we pick up material. There's our first purple item. It's a bowler head, very fitting. Pumpkin doesn't really help us right now. Glasses are nice. Poisonous tonic is beautiful. Glass is even better. Terrified onion, coffee, rib and tear, sure why not, butterfly, insanity, medical turret. We were actually quite lucky there. <laughs> Believe it or not, this can go downhill very fast. Oh my god, a bag. That is beautiful. So I didn't think about this entire thing all too much. The only thing I thought of was handcuffs are a problem, so I want to bump up my HP as soon as possible. But number two, imagine we get blood harvesting. Blood harvesting deals one HP per second to you. The weird ghost gives you three HP, but uh, it sets your HP to one. So if you take one damage per second at one HP, I will just die. And while we do have lifesteal and we can heal from the fruits, they are not there when we enter the stage and when we already take damage and would just die. Okay, let's hope that it doesn't appear. That is fine, as long as we don't get blood harvesting here. That is more than fine. Okay, that is the final one. So in other words, what I want to do is bump up the HP regeneration. At least that we could out heal the blood harvesting if we ever get it. More trees, that is also beautiful. Even more luck. I mean, do we need that? Sure, I'll take it. That is nice. And let's continue. Yeah, this is a little bit scary. And do you see that? I would have already died. This would have already been it. If you liked the video, then please consider subscribing and giving the video a like so we can have a very nice number here. Rib and tear. I'm kind of scared when I see purple stuff. Lens, small magazine, redstone, charcoal, dynamite, ritual, cyclops, poisonous tonic, one that I love. Oh, don't reduce my HP regeneration, please. I work for this very hard. 4 HP regeneration, beautiful. We don't need lifesteal. As I said, the issue is there are no enemies around yet, but now we have 11 HP regeneration. And as you can see, it would heal every 0.92 seconds. So this would be faster than the blood harvesting. Crown? I mean, sure, why not? Gentle alien and the mouse, and yeah, this is also okay. Alien worm, why not? Uh, no, 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 no. 
The thing is, there are unique items in the game, that means you can only have them once. There are also limited items in the game, like for example, the gentle alien, you can only have 10 of them. Of the mice, you can only have 5. So the more of them we max out, the more likely it becomes that we get the blood harvesting. But I would say for now, let's just entirely ignore that, let's just pretend it doesn't exist. That is, yeah, no, you know, I'm good at that stuff. And we are just enjoying all of the crates that we are getting. The main thing I am curious about here is how fast do we kill elites? How fast do we kill bosses? Because it may look... Oh, I'm really happy that we got so much HP before this appeared. There we go. Laser turret. Blastic explosives. Yeah, gold school. Glass cannon is a problem. I don't think we'll ever have a positive armor value for all too long. Ribbon tear, scared sausage, lemonade, coffee is beautiful, bland is amazing. Dangerous bunny is also nice. The compass, there we go. Bean teacher, chameleon, <laughs> blood leech, and 5 HP regeneration. One thing you may have noticed is that this one here doesn't really fit, right? Like there are not that many amazing things in the level ups. And it's kind of interesting to see how it doesn't seem to be that much affected by luck. Like it definitely is, but not as much as you may think. The entire stage is just filled. <laughs> we increased the spawn amount of the enemies by quite a lot. But the enemies don't really survive for a very long time. Oh my god, look at this filling up. Banner, baby elephant, night goggles, okay, insanity, lost duck, banner, barricade, shady potion, mushroom, another shady potion, I don't like that, poisonous tonic, wheelbarrow, fertilizer, oh my, oh that is beautiful, that is just amazing. And we still haven't gotten the blood harvesting, oh, diploma, I do have a lot of turrets, right? Oh my god, we have so many items. <laughs> <laughs> we do have two laser turrets here. No, that is definitely worth... Oh, 47 damage. Wow. That is a lot of damage. Oh my god, look at the amount of fruits here. <laughs> is any one of you guys hungry? I, I have a few leftovers if you want to have something. <laughs> Just a little bit. Let me actually collect the material here. There we go. 700, 800. Oh my... Oh my god. Please don't have blood harvesting. Potato, beautiful. Glasses, banner. Schmoopy poopy, nice. Helmet, leather vest, ritual. I think there were two rituals. Pencil, candle, I don't like that, but sure. Trees, they're just way too many things. Big arms, beautiful. And spider, doesn't benefit us. Schmoopy poopy again. Oh my god, yes. Yes, I don't need to move anymore. That was just it. I don't need to move ever again. Track door, okay, HP regeneration, should we go for the speed? No, I don't think I will, I will go for the attack speed and range damage. Oh wow, I mean, yeah, not the best items, but that is quite something. Rip and tear, I kind of like that one. We'll also go for another slingshot, beautiful. Coupal, big, that was our first coupal, are you kidding me? I can't believe it took that long to get one. There's another turret, I really like to take the turrets. I just want to have a huge army on the floor here. Ooh, I'm really slow though. Oh, huh, okay. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. All I have to do is just stand here and do nothing. Why is all of them at times two? Wait, how many metal detectors do we have right now? We only have four metal detectors? That's a 20% chance. Look at the amount of times two that we get. That feels more than 20%, a one in five. Um, actually no, it's just that we collect so much material. Yeah, never mind. Okay, wow. I need to get more metal detectors. I definitely need more money. Oh my god, do you know what we need? ST's couch would be incredible here. Hunting trophy is okay. Yeah, sure. That is all. Okay. <laughs> Do you know how much HP regeneration we get here? 84 as a bonus. 121 HP regeneration. Eye surgery. Uh, right, I have to accept all of them. Yeah, it doesn't even matter, right? Let's just quickly go over this because this will take a while. It's so confusing when I click on take and then the same item appears again, but it looks like I didn't click, but it's just a duplicate. Oh, uh, let's go for the range, sure, let's go for even more luck. Sure, oh, oh, why not? Crit is nice. You, you, not you, I hate you. Potato, beautiful, wandering bot, that is also kind of a turret, more or less. Glasses, you know what, I will also pick up all of the alien eyes. I kind of like picking the wonky stuff. Oh my god, I also need to pick every single thing that has negative speed. We have to bump this number up. Now, I can't change it when the game gives me something. Ooh, that is also nice. I can't change it when the game gives me something that gives me bonus speed. That's just how it is. <laughs> Jesus. Look at this. That was absolutely ridiculous. We just healed up so much of our HP. And how slow can you actually make your character? I wonder what happens if you go negative. 
You know what? I think this is completely balanced. I think this should just be a part in the game that you can always do this, that you have this much luck and you get this many items. Yeah, yeah, feels about right. I don't even think there's a single tree around, right? Yeah, because our turrets are also destroying them. I literally have nothing at all to do. Oh, yes, yes, so... I think maybe in the future I will just speed this up a little bit. I kind of still want to show you everything that I get. But uh, this will take longer and longer and longer the further we get into the game. Wow, we have quite a lot of eyes. How thick can you make this? Like, can you just get an infinite amount of them? I don't think they were limited. Wait, why do I have mines? I don't remember getting mines. I must have gotten it out of a crate. Duct tape, coffee, ritual, energy... Oh my god. Oh, that was so much bonus speed. Stop doing that. No, my hedgehog. I'm more amazed that we haven't gotten a single blood harvesting so far. That would be great to make an entire run without it. It shouldn't matter all too much if it happens now. Let's go for... Yeah, attack speed, why not? And damage, I don't think I ever need that. Ooh, a rocket launcher. No, 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 not yet. I will take some special weapons later on, but for now, let's just go for the slingshots. I like them a lot. There's a purple one. There's more luck. I love it. Another turret. This is beautiful. More trees, more luck. <laughs> oh my god, big arms. A purple slingshot. Do I lock that? Nah, we'll just get a red one in the next round. And healing up already. What is our damage right now? 200 with a crit. I believe it or not, that is not a lot. That is actually quite bad. Like, you would expect with this many items, you have a ton of damage, but we also have a lot of things that reduce my damage. Once we get into the later waves, I will show more of them, but right now it's just, yeah, a few enemies spawn, they die, they give me a ton of crates, you know. But once we get into the further waves where a ton of enemies spawn, I'll show you more of that. How much range damage? We have 25. That is actually, that is uh, quite a lot. Yeah, that is beautiful. But do you see that these offers are so bad? I don't know what they depend on, because it definitely is not luck. It may affect it to a degree. Oh, I should have taken negative speed there. It probably affects it to a degree, but not as much as you would think. Piggy bank, it's a unique one, let's just take it, can never appear again. Baby with a beard, more luck is also nice. I could swear we had rounds that had way more fruits on the floor. Yet yeah, there are not that many enemies spawning right now. And it also shows in the crates. Wave 14, that is interesting. Okay, another gnome, another gnome. <laughs> okay, what is going on? Oh my god, explosive turrets, yes please. Whoop, there we go. More range? Yeah, sure. I, we don't really need it, but eh, we can cover the entire map. I'll take the focus. I'll take the lucky charm. I'll take the lost duck. Medikit, even more healing minus luck. Yeah, yeah. That's life, you know. And here we will fight the next elite. Uh, let's see how quickly we kill him. Maybe it's a very powerful one. No, it's not. It's it, that was that was very fast. That was incredibly fast. I wonder if we grow enough to one shot the bosses later on on wave 20, or if they will actually survive for a couple of seconds. Maybe even more than just a couple of seconds. I don't think so. But let's see. We have a guaranteed red item here, and uh, it is that is kind of nothing special anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of them. Now that I'm thinking about it, one run that could be interesting is that every single thing in the game is unique. Every weapon, every item, you can only get it once. Mouse, very nice. Medical turret, banner. There were so many banners. There were like three or four banners there. Uh, there we go. I can't believe we still haven't gotten the blood harvesting. <laughs> That's insane. Like, our damage can easily go down to 0% if we have enough of the... Ooh, nice. That is beautiful. Yeah, let's take all of that. It can easily go down to 0 if we have blood harvesting and enough of the triangle of power. Another gnome. Wait, how many gnomes do we have right now? Five. Well, now it's six. Poor... <laughs> what? We didn't have that yet? Maxed out? That is interesting. Weird ghost? No, 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 no. Baby elephant? Beautiful. More trees? Yeah, I definitely need that. We don't have enough trees. There's our red slingshot. Took a little bit longer than hoped for. But there it is. Another triangle of power. I will actually lock the alien eyes. I want to have as many of them as possible. But <laughs> It's always something special to just see our HP shooting up like crazy. How slow am I? Oh my god. What happened there? Okay. Um. Yeah, we are really slow. Did I just see something deal 4k damage? 4.5k? Is that the material that we collect? Well, it's only 1.5k. Can it crit? Not- Oh my god, that is the, the one where if you pick up material, we deal damage. Not the one from this character. The one in the game. Oh. Well, uh, that is interesting. <laughs> I think they can almost one-shot bosses, maybe. It's kind of funny because usually you spend most of the time in the waves, you know? You show off the part of the wave where you fight them, where you survive them and everything. And here it's more like... 
Okay, we are jumping from crate opening to crate opening to crate opening. This pretty much turned into a gambling stream. Beautiful. I love it. Well, there's the blood donation. It's okay. We heal more than enough. Even if we get the ghost now, that sets our HP to 1. We should survive this. I'm actually not completely convinced. Like, what I talked about is rather more theory and not actually knowing. Uh, but I just hope it's the case, okay? Triangle of power. So we have three triangle of powers right now. That means per second we lose 6% damage. And some of these fights, they last very long. And um, that will be interesting. Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't even consider that. That is uh, really horrible. <laughs> more experience gain. Beautiful. More turrets. Another laser turret. And there we continue. Ooh, wow. Okay, how fast do we kill you? Um... Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling this is pretty much how the boss fight will go. Oh no, there's no material yet in the beginning, right? That is where the damage came from. Okay, it will take a little bit longer, but I don't think it will take all too long. I think the most interesting part for me right now is just to see how many fruits there are on the floor at the end of each wave. Because this drastically changes, which obviously has to do with how many enemies spawn. Oh my god, okay. I don't see a ghost in there. I think we will... Oh, yeah, there are common items in there. Exoskeleton, nice. Okay. Oh, another blood harvesting. Hold on a moment. We have 357 HP. Oh, because of the padding. Yes, all of the padding that we have. Here, if I do this... It didn't go down. But it's probably at a threshold right now. 6% dodge is more attack speed. Beautiful. Yeah, so if I roll now, it should eventually go down, right? 332. I don't care about any of these here. Um, oh yeah, 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 definitely went down. Okay, okay, makes sense. My eyes are pretty much just focused on everything that is red, as well as anything that gives me minus speed, but uh, it keeps going up. I can't change that, okay? That is just the stuff that we get from the waves. But watch the amount of alien eyes <laughs> we are shooting. <laughs> I mean, uh, that is nice, but I want even more. I, I just always want more. I wonder if at the end of the stage we have more turrets on here or more crates. Or could it be that there are just too many things going on? And that's why the enemies can't spawn? Like, with the amount of bonus enemies that we have, there should actually be a ton spawning. I will just walk around and collect this stuff. Maybe that is the reason. Well, going around is easier said than done because <laughs> I'm so slow. <laughs> but I'll get this stuff here, don't worry. Let's see if we get an unreasonably high amount in this wave of crates. It's not really looking all too different right now, I gotta say. Um, well, okay, that was a lot though. Lemonade, cute monkey, broken mouth, cute monkey. <laughs> Look at this <laughs> coming in. <laughs> that is a. Uh, oh, ouch. Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, sure, 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 sure. There are just way too many things in here. Why is there no. There, there, there should really be an easy way to just accept these. Like, just click on a button and you get all of them shown, and then you can take them. Wandering bot, robot arm, another wandering bot. <laughs> How many of them can you actually have? Heal when you pick up, sure. I'm getting so many cute monkeys right now, that is just insane. Another cape, beautiful. And that was all of our money. Let's continue. This is the final wave before we fight the bosses. And every single time I look at our alien eyes, it feels like we get more and more and more of them. Oh my god, you know what I need to do? A modded run where you start off with one alien eye and zero weapons. There are no weapons in the game, but every single wave you survive, you get one more alien eyes. So you start off with 6, then you get 12, then you have 18, then you have 24. You know, the eyes shooting out. That also means you kind of want to have bonus HP somehow. In some form or another. Oh, he actually managed to hit me. Impressive. And how many crates do we get here without walking around? That was nothing. Yeah, that was nothing at all. Oh, there we go. Don't give me the ghost, please. Don't give me the ghost, please. It's looking good so far. Yeah, beautiful. We got it. So here's a final look on all of the items that we got. I actually can't believe we didn't even max out the items that we could. Wait, that is insane. We, we did get a ton of items. I guess it makes sense. Most of them are blue or purple. In fact, I think most of them are purple. And so many red items. Wow. Well, there we go. Let's see how long the bosses survive. And that is actually way longer than I thought it would be. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Yeah, the moment we started collecting material, the nukes kicked in. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.